your girl Kristen Marie back with another video. Thanks for coming back here, I guess. Um, <laughs> if you're new to my channel, welcome. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like if you like what you're watching. And as you can see by the title of the video, we are gonna go into talking about BMT letter writing. Um, as you can see, I am driving home from work, so I highly do not recommend this at all. If you are an underage driver, a driver in general, please do not do what I'm doing. Um, I know I am doing this at my own risk, so again, please do not do this. And if my phone begins to shake, again, my mount is the worst. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. tip I would give you about letter writing for basic training if it's gonna be anything I think this is number one do not spray anything on the letters or envelopes you never want to send a letter with perfume do not kiss the envelope with lipstick or anything oh my god this guy is watching me record my video oh my god hi <laughs> this is nerve-wracking anyways going back to my what I was saying sorry guys it's I've never recorded like out of my room, so out of my house. This is kind of weird. Anyways, um, so um, you never want to put any lipstick, any sprays, and nothing, no stickers, nothing. If you want to put any lipstick marks or stickers, stick to keeping it on the letter. This is a really bumpy road, guys. Sorry. So you want to stick to keeping it on the letter. You don't want to put it on the envelope because your airman will get in trouble. Um, and a same thing with the sprays. You never want to spray anything on the envelopes or even the letter. Your airman will get in trouble. So that's a tip that if you're going to take anything from this video, take that tip because that's really, 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 really important. So that's tip number one. So tip number two is to make sure you tell your airman how much you care about them and how much you love them. Remember, they're going through two months of being screamed at, yelled at, stripped completely down of anything they know pretty much and they're looking forward to their letters the letters are their form of escape so you want to make sure that you're telling them how much you appreciate everything they've done um for my airman i know i wrote to him every single day yes every single day he probably missed two letters um but he really appreciated it and i even sent him a tic-tac-toe game i sent him a couple of lines from movies i even did this thing where every at the end of every letter i sent him was a ps and it was me trying to do like a joke or a pickup line and we just made it a thing where we did it back and forth to each other you know it, it gets them away their thoughts from what they're going through so always remember make sure you just encourage your airmen and tell them how much you love them and how much you appreciate them for doing such a drastic thing that they're doing so tip number three guys is make sure you keep any negativity out of the letters whether it be something that happened to you that's really really bad any deaths in the families anything on the news especially or if you're just someone pops up and is trying to talk to your airman and you're like get the hell out of here you want to keep all that away your airman does not care what's going on he doesn't know what's going on and she because i know last last video i forgot the she they don't care what's going on you know and they can't fix it if they're far away so just try to keep all the negativity out of the letters keep it positive remember these are letters that they're getting and they're receiving after a long day so always 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 remember they're never promised those phone calls that they usually get so the way you got to look at it is look forward to those phone call uh, sorry look forward to those letters because those are your point of contact for the next two months and do you really want to tell your airman all the negative crap that's going on and them not want to write to you probably not tip number four um if you're going to send pictures 
please, please do not send any nudes or risque pictures. Their empty eyes are going to be looking at the pictures that you send. So always remember to send PG-13 pictures, guys. Keep it PG-13. For my airman, I send him pictures of our dog, Cooper. I send him pictures of me and Cooper. I even sent him old pictures of me and him. And he really, really appreciated it. Right now in his in his dorm room at tech school, he's got pictures of me and him hung up. Um, so it's really nice. I probably sent him one picture in like my little booty shorts, but it was tastefully done where it wasn't provocative and it wasn't crazy. And you know, he really appreciated it. And you just wanna be careful what you send. I mean, if you really wanna send your airman like a picture with your abs or your body, I mean, take a picture in your bathing suit, I guess. It counts, right? Tip number five. Don't expect your airmen to write back right away. This is a big one. You need to remember your airman has the privilege of receiving and receiving and writing letters. So you guys, I won't be shaking much often because I just parked. So you wanna make sure that you're not getting upset if you don't receive a letter. Sometimes it takes longer than usual. So be grateful for what you do have and then just be hopeful for what you might get. Tip number six, and this is really, really a big one. Um, keep all the letters, reread them. Um, they make you feel really, really good, honestly. And you know what I mean? Like my airman has all the letters I had strapped up together in his little, his cubby. And when I went to go visit him during um, graduation week, I got to go see his, where he was staying in, and I saw all the letters. And um, I have a container, which I'm going to read to you at least one letter from at the end of this video and you know I kept all the letters and it's just good to go back and read um you know be mindful these guys and women they're going through a lot for the next two months and they're gonna say some things that you're like wow like at for instance um my airman is not that emotional meaning sometimes you got to kind of like pick it at it out of him to get out his feelings but going through this he really opens up and it was just it was nice to read and you never want to question it i'm one that i'm going to admit i like to question things like if you're calling me beautiful i'm gonna tell you why you're calling me beautiful um so i started questioning it in the beginning like why is he like saying these things to me don't question it you know, take it for what it is. This is an amazing experience you're going through. And honestly, you know, sometimes guys need this little push, you know? Sometimes women need this little push. So whatever your airman's going through, you're their outlet to look out at. You're their escape. So appreciate every little thing because, like I said, they're taking the time out to write to you. Um, some of them even write to you when they're not supposed to. I know my airman snuck a letter writing to me in the middle of the night, and I told him to not do that again. Um, yeah, but he wanted to make sure that I got letters, but I made sure he had one letter every single day to the point that when I went to basic training to the graduation, um, a few of his airman buddies were like, so you're the famous crystal, and it was like, because, you know, my airman was getting letters every single day. But I just wanted to know how much I appreciated him. And, you know, that's that's the number one thing that you want to do. Tip number seven. Make sure you grab all the addresses or all the phone numbers of people that your airmen want you to reach to so they can have their address. Make sure you let them know their address. Make sure you know, let them know the guidelines. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. You want to make sure that whoever they want letters to be sent to for them, you let them know about the guidelines and you let them know his address or her address. Hey guys, so I had to cut that video really quick and get changed and something comfortable. I know the lighting freaking sucks in this living room. Um, I was going to finish doing it outside, but I kind of had to go pee really bad. So we ran inside and right now I know you can hear the AC going and the fan going. Um, this house was completely hot when I got in. So muggy out. My hair 
completely curled up so yeah so I'm gonna finish the video um, where I left off so I don't even know which one I was at pretty much I just wanted to say um, when you write a letter to your airman make sure that you write it neat on the envelope um, so it's gonna say a B it's gonna say their <clears throat> it's gonna say a B blah 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 so their last name their first name um, my airman was squadron 321st flight 541 so it's gonna say 321 TRS FLT 541 dorm and then their dorm then it's gonna say 1320 Trumper Street unit the unit Latin Air Force Base Texas their address their zip code so it's pretty lengthy um, so make sure that you um you know you write it down when they gave it to you so I think my airman was nervous the first time he sent me a letter because this was my first letter he spelled it C Y R S T A L it's pretty funny um, but this was the letter that gave me information on um, graduation and whatever so these are all the letters I have um, he has more apparently <laughs> so yeah I haven't figured out which one actually you know what I'm gonna read this one to you so when I went to um, graduation he actually gave me three letters that he wasn't able to um, send out so another thing is you want to make sure around the time that you know your airman is going to graduate you find out exactly when to do the cutoff so what I did was my airman graduated on <clears throat> July 26 that Thursday is am I saying that right 26 so um yeah July 20 yeah so I made sure that a week before I knew I was going to be in Texas I cut off all letters um, because whatever gets sent out is going to either get returned or it's going to get sent to Shepard wherever they're going to be stationed at and sometimes it doesn't even get sent they just keep it throw it away that's it but that's the reality of it so it does take I calculated and if I'm right it takes about three to four days for them to get the letter sometimes nine um, so yes keep in mind airman's week there's no letter writing um, during beast week there's no letter writing however you can keep sending letters they will get them when they're done with beast week so he had quite a few letters when um, he was done with beast week so that's exciting um, but he did give me no he gave me four letters when I was out there that he wasn't able to send so I think I'm going to read this one to you guys and you can see it's like really teeny tiny small um, but it's really cute so this one he actually wrote on July 17th and he always puts Lackland Texas on the top um, so this is what he wrote I think this this one is cute I'll read it to you guys it says hey mrs. Martinez I talked on the phone with you yesterday I know you're stressed but it's all going to change just stick with it be that strong woman that I know you are just a few more days and you'll see this ugly ass mug of mine guarantee yours outlook on what's been going on will change and you'll forget and say fuck it I got my military man we're going to take photos and you're going to post them I know you will I don't care one bit every chance I get you're doing on my stuff just to make <laughs> you smile so you know I'm all about you so really quickly don't crack on your airmen if they start spelling stuff wrong or don't know how to use punctuation marks or whatever like commas and periods so you don't know where it starts where it ends they're trying to write as fast as they can so cut them some slack you know okay so and no one else you mean everything to me and I want to give you the world I have plans big plans no one and nothing is going to get in the way of us you are my you hear me <laughs> oh my god so like I was saying keep it up hard work pays off that's what I've learned from this place and good positive vibes breeds more happiness and so on you get it I don't want to sound boring I just want to motivate you and let you know that you're what I'm fighting for and doing this for to give us a chance in this stupid ass world 
make something of it and I know you understand me you're my one and only and I can't wait till we pass all this crap and start over our new lives that's it for now just wanted to tell you that we got this Miss Martinez P.S. I know you're thinking about me every day just make sure it's all good things maybe some pervy lol spice it up wink wink god I miss you so that's one letter I got to read to you guys. I will not read any more. Um, maybe I'll read another one when I do a Q&A with my airman. Um, maybe he'll read one too. But I like to keep all my letters in this cute little box. Um, it's a little old lunch box. I actually kept like all the stamps in there, the envelopes, letter writing, everything. There's even still a pen in here. Like... I kept it all because literally every morning I was writing a letter and the cool thing about it is my bank had a post um, a, a mailbox drop thing there the blue thing and um, I was able to drop as many letters as I can on the weekends I dropped like the letters I wrote for Sunday I dropped on Monday so Monday sometimes I dropped two letters two envelopes sometimes one but um, yeah so that's pretty much my video of tips and tricks well not tricks but tips for letter writing just you know if you're someone that's going to be going through this um just make sure you just keep positive and it's okay to send a letter every day it's okay to write in the letter like if they're talking to you i did that sometimes and you know it's okay to tell them how much you miss them you know but just try not to make it so sad because they're going through a lot. Just always remember to tell them how much you love them, how much you're so excited for them in this new journey, and how much that you can't wait to see them because they can't wait to see you either. So always remember that. And um, yeah, your your airmen will be very appreciative of everything um, that you're doing for them. And I know my airman was, like I said, he was actually really happy that I wrote to him every day. He told me not to stop because it helped him get through it. So you want to help them um but yeah that's it for that's it for this video try to keep it short um if you guys like the video please give it a thumbs up again if you're new to my channel thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already if you need any further questions on anything you know where to reach me snapchat um i can't even speak <laughs> snapchat Instagram. Um, you can write down a comment below if you have any questions and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So until then guys, I'm going to try to make a video again this week. Um, I haven't figured out on what, but I'm kind of liking the whole BMT tech school graduation thing going on because um, like I said, I know a lot of people look for these videos to see how to co cope with it. So. I might make another um, Milsil tag video. I'm not sure yet, but anyways, guys, I'm rambling off. So have a good night, and until next time, bye.